Flash flood watch and all day rain for much of the state created all kinds of problems, especially in southern Maryland and on the eastern shore where a reported possible tornado touched down in Salisbury. Flooded streets caused some traffic accidents, some neighborhoods lost power and trees fell as well. You're not going to stop the tree really for the most part. If it's going to come down, it's going to come down. But what they want to do is be proactive. Out at Valley View Farms in Cockeysville, they're reminding homeowners to take a closer look at their large trees. With the ground being as saturated as it is, should winds pick up later in the week, we could see more downed trees. You know, if they see a disturbance to the ground, like the ground starting to lift a little bit, like that tree is actually starting to move, the tree maybe tilting a little bit to a slight angle, or like I said, if they're starting to see dead limbs on the outskirts of the tree, that's some of your toe-tail signs. Homeowners with basements are also reminded to check their sump pumps if they have one to avoid flooding. Then there's the roads. Basically, we, we, the saying goes, turn around, don't drown. Maryland State Police are reminding people to use common sense when on the roads and never try to drive through standing water. You know, it only takes 12 inches of uh, rushing water to strand a vehicle, and it takes 24 inches of rushing water to uh, carry most vehicles away. So again, folks should just keep a close eye on big trees around their property if they have any concerns. The good news here, though, heading into the week, the weather looks a lot better. In Mount Washington, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.